virtual graduation ceremony. The COVID cliches are old and worn at this point, but it really has been a strange year and not at all what any of us expected. Even in mid-March, when things were going to be locked down for just two weeks, we may have been naively believing that and assuming that school would be back to normal at some point. So here we are months later and working our way through a world that has changed in many ways. We at the school are doing all that we can to honor and celebrate your achievements and let you know that we are very proud of you all. The work that you have put in over the last 12 years, the incredible things that you have learned about yourselves as individuals and your community, and the friendships forged and the light that you have brought to those who have taught you is truly a wonderful thing. In particular, during the last three months, students have shown an incredible commitment to their own learning and have worked through hardships to be sure to set themselves up as best as possible by gaining credits in what they know they need to move on to their next challenge. For that hard work, we commend you. We have learned without question over these last months, it is the pathways that you are all about to embark on that are entirely essential. Now more than ever, it is clear that science is essential, that communication is essential, that art and culture are the crutch we need to get us through tough times. We have learned that social justice and equality is absolutely essential. Our local and global communities, as a woven collective, are the only way through the problems that we face as a society. The things that you are all going on to become learners of and experts in are critical in solving the world's future problems. And I know I speak for the entire staff when I acknowledge that this particular group of graduates will serve us all very well. So please take this time during the broadcast to reflect on your success and how you overcame your struggles. Pride yourself on getting to the point where you now get to choose more clearly how you will impact the world around you. We wish you well moving forward, and in closing, my message, I say an emphatic congratulations, 2020 graduates of Fundy Middle and High School. I ask you to all join me in prayer as we lift up the graduates of 2020. Dear Heavenly Father, we are gathered here today to celebrate the graduating class of 2020. Together, we praise you for the success you have gave us and for all you have in store. The graduating class of 2020 is one like no other, and even with the circumstances of this year, if it has brought us anything, it has brought us closer together and stronger than ever. We are all in this together, and it puts my mind to ease knowing that this was always a part of your plan, and that we have to embrace the ups and downs for it will make us stronger. Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid or discouraged. For the Lord God is with you wherever you go. Joshua chapter 1, verse 9. Thank you, God, for blessing each and every graduate with the milestone achievement of graduating high school. The last three months cannot diminish the last 13 amazing years we have spent together. Although the outcome is not what we had wished for or dreamt it would have looked like, we can be thankful for our health and wellness in times like today and move forward, knowing that everything is going to be okay and that, that this was just one bump in the road. I ask you to leave open the doors that will lead us to success and to tightly close the ones that will cause us harm. I pray you watch over and bless each and every one of us as we leave together and walk into the next chapter of our lives and continue to watch over the staff of Fundy Middle and High School, our parents, friends, families, and guardians as they have helped us and supported us along our journey. You have instilled gifts in each and every one of us, and we ask you to allow them to grow, develop, and flourish in order to bring you the glory. Thank you for guiding us to the lifelong friendships we have made and the lessons learned along the way. I have no doubt you have anything but the best in store for each and every graduate in the graduating class of 2020. It's important for us to remember, his hands are big, they can carry us, hold us, protect us, and lead us because he love, loves us more than we could ever imagine. As we move forward, we will take with us all the joy and education you have brought us and that we have gained from the last 13 years. If you have shown the graduating class of 2020 anything, it is that we can make it through thick and thin alongside your holy name. And together they say, Amen. Hello and welcome everyone to the Fundy Middle High School.
School Class of 2020 graduation ceremony. I would like to start by addressing the elephant in the room. There is nobody in this room. I stand here today overlooking an empty theater. When imagining myself giving this speech, I never would have thought that it would have gone like this. I saw myself in a gymnasium packed full of people. I expected to look into the audience and see the faces of my fellow graduates staring back at me. When I was done talking, I would sit amongst you all and watch each of you as you walked across that stage. I would see you as all your years in high school finally came together, bringing you to the very moment where you received your diploma. If I were to stand here today and make a guess, I would say that most of you expected something similar when picturing the perfect graduation ceremony. However, due to this year's unique situation, we didn't get everything that we expected. I know a lot of the graduates were quite upset with how our final year ended. I know this because I saw all of you post about it on Instagram. You wanted your voices heard. I get that, we all do. That's why I'm up here pre-recording a speech for our graduation. But the truth is, no matter what I say, no matter what I do, I can't change what happened to us. I cannot change the fact that our last day of school was March 13th instead of June 12th. I cannot change the fact that we didn't get our last field day or that we didn't know it when we were at our last high school dance. I can't change the fact that spring athletes missed out on their final season and that the actors here didn't get their opening night. I thought about it a lot. Many nights I laid in my bed thinking about all of the things I was going to miss. But then, my thoughts carried me back to an Ignite PowerPoint presentation that we all had to do in grade 10. Mine focused on the idea of optimism and its benefits. I've since decided to look at our high school experience in another way, the glass half full. We have been making memories in this school since the seventh grade. Friends were made, laughs were shared, and dreams were dreamt. Fundy Middle and High School is where we grew up. Fundy Middle and High School has made a permanent impact on each individual here. There is so much to take from our experiences at this school. And if we choose to look through a lens of optimism, we can see that the good experiences truly do outweigh the bad. Yes, our ending wasn't ideal, but that doesn't take away from the genuinely great times we've had at this school. When we walked to the spook walk with our friends, when we couldn't stop laughing in class even after we'd been told to be quiet, and when the varsity girls won a provincial championship. Those memories are all still there. Our legacy will live on and there isn't a single pandemic that can take that away from us. So today, we should celebrate. Be grateful for the time shared, the amazing people we met, the teachers who inspired us, and the coaches who changed who we are. Know that we are bigger than this moment and strong enough to overcome this adversity. We are the graduating class of 2020, and for us, anything is possible. So enjoy today, give yourself a pat on the back, and hope that the virtual ceremony isn't as long as a typical graduation. Thank you everyone and congrats to the class of 2020. My name is Zoe Watson, Superintendent of Anglophone South School District. And it is my pleasure to have an opportunity to offer the graduates of Funday Middle and High School congratulations and best wishes on behalf of the district and members of the District Education Council as you graduate from 13 years of public school education. At this time of year, I have the pleasure of attending year-end celebrations and graduation ceremonies. For me, this is the very first time to offer virtual greetings to our 1800 graduates from Campobello Island to Sussex. And thank you, Mr. McDade, for the chance to speak to the graduates of 2020 of Funday Middle and High School. I know the last few months have been challenging for everyone, your families, the staff at your school, and for you as students, as education moved from the classroom 
to the online world in April. This was a major change that happened quickly for you and your teachers. And congratulations to those who were able to complete courses for credit online. I always encourage graduates to be lifelong learners. And the last few months have illustrated how we have all learned, regardless of our age. We have learned how to keep ourselves healthy and safe. We have learned the phrases physical distancing, family bubbles, window visits, and the importance of wearing face masks, all new to us. Another message to graduates is the importance of being resilient, that there will be disappointments and things that don't go your way. And you have experienced that this spring. You, your families, school staff, and your communities are disappointed that we can't gather for our traditional proms, marches, graduation ceremonies, and safe grad celebrations. This spring has pushed all of us to be problem solvers and to work to figure out how to recognize and celebrate this milestone in your life with your family, friends, and the greater school community. Graduates, your school has prepared you for the next steps, be it further study, an apprenticeship program, directly to work, or perhaps some, you need some time to figure out what the next steps will be. The first leg of the journey is now complete and you must continue to learn, to be resilient, and to be a problem solver. Regardless of where your path will take you next year, remember your community. You live in a beautiful area of our province. You may leave the area for a time, but always come back. Your community has been very supportive of you. Remember to give back. Look for ways to volunteer and help others. Thank you to the administration of the school for the leadership that you provide each and every day and to the teaching and support staff. We acknowledge all that you have done for these graduates during the school day and the many extracurricular opportunities offered after school hours and on the weekends. These are all opportunities for learning. To the proud families and community members, I would like to recognize you and your contributions. Education is about all of us working together. As the old saying goes, it takes a community to raise a child, and school is a partnership with family and community. In closing, graduates, I ask you to thank those who have supported you along this 13-year journey. A family member, a staff member, a coach, a mentor, this is the time to remember them and let them know that they made a difference for you. Congratulations, class of 2020, and all of the best in your future. I stand here before you today, humbled to play a small part in a celebratory event for the very last time here at Bundy Mill High School. About a week ago, when Mr. McDade gave me the news that I would be making a valedictory address, I did what any graduate would in an overwhelming moment. I Snapchatted Carolyn God. When I shared my concern over crafting the perfect speech, he replied with, what, like you haven't been prepared for a valedictorian speech since grade 10? He's joking. But for those of you who don't know me, I'd like to be prepared. However, every graduate, myself included, has at one time or another demonstrated a lack of organization and preparation. Our proof of this fact is proudly reaching a point where Mrs. Ross has systemized the don't ask, just grab the pencil in her classroom, zone in her classroom. Let's talk briefly about preparation. Preparation is a management principle initiated 
by a series of expectations in the process of setting a goal. Unfortunately, it now goes without saying, expecting the possibility of a global pandemic was not something for which any of us could have been prepared enough. As a result, I stand here feeling as unprepared as every other graduate in this moment. Fellow graduates of 2020, we're not meant to be prepared for this. How could we possibly prepare to accept the reality of goodbyes to last, the things that we hadn't yet called first? How do we face guilt or feelings of being cheated as we fight against the threats to public health at the expense of our traditional graduation experience? How do we step out into a world being turned upside down when our own world feels like it is tumbling down? Let's take a minute and rewind back to 2014. Remember that moment when we stiffly walked into the massive brick building of Fundy High School for the very first time after a summer of sing-alongs to the song Uptown Funk just before realizing that the real challenge was pouring buckets of icy cold water on ourselves? I don't know about you, but my grade seven song was not prepared to navigate my way through the busy halls without the comfort of being in a line or to handle the complexity of a walk. Now it still seems to be a problem for some of us, but I'd like to believe that it's a conscious choice, not a matter of preparedness. My point is, we weren't ready then, and we're not ready now. And it's not because of the formalities we're missing. In fact, it is overcoming sense of unpreparedness which will undoubtedly allow us to be the strongest generation. To have come out of this pandemic, to have been brought to this world in the days of 9-11, to have started school in the years of the global recession, all while moving forward with hope and looking back at our power comes from being the graduates of the year 2020. It's turmoil that reminds us that our life is actually full of uncertainties. We accept that we are never going to be prepared, and more that lessons learned as a result will highlight the importance of our journey. Mandy Hills once said, trust the weight, embrace the uncertainty, enjoy the beauty of becoming. When nothing's certain, anything is possible. Graduation marks the end of a journey and the commencement of another. However, it should never be the destination. We are destined for greatness and beyond, for our class will be fearless in the face of life's uncertainties. Class of 2020, I urge you, don't settle. Don't let a milestone confuse you. It is meant to mark the miles you come and inform you how far you still have to travel. You define your own destination. Take advantage of the extreme uncertainties that we face today. Any uncertainties simply make us reflect upon the value of a journey that we celebrate today after 13 years. We all make plans. Some of us declare them, some plans are long term, and some we subconsciously accept as our plan. It is the very first step of painting a picture of life. Today, we hold a paintbrush in our hands. We fear the mistakes that will no longer come at the cost of faint graphite traces, but at irreversible splatters. There must always come a time for the first stroke, and today, we take one, knowing that we can only hold our paintbrush remotely from its tip. Slowly, but together, we will learn to dance with the bristles. One stroke will inspire the next, especially at times in our best endeavors to integrate our marks of mistakes. With each stroke shaping its unique story, we will fill the canvas of life. Let the uniqueness of our own graduation remind you of what truly matters in every stroke. Enjoy every moment given to us in the time that we call our journey. From the bottom of my heart, I urge you, class of 2020, stay involved, get involved, start caring, and give it your best. Don't make the mistake of looking back with regret to moments that might unknowingly become your last. We did learn this the hard way. Even the late nights of homework, bringing home the first varsity girls basketball championship banner, or passing out the L bucket at a graduation ceremony. For the present is the only moment that we've earned with certainty. These lasting moments, memories, and experiences give graduation value, not the pageantry. So today, we uphold our tradition by celebrating every moment of growth in our journey. The bumps and bruises of adolescence, the formation and mending of relationships, the bitterness of our errors that followed every trial, every mutter of complaint to the changes that we feared, all the wrong questions asked, but probably more wrong answers responded. We've come together in spirit to share these moments of accomplishments that have made us mariners. On 
behalf of the graduating class of 2020, I thank the administration for your inspired leadership, the staff members that will live on in the hearts of the students whose lives you have deeply touched, and to the parents or guardians that have been nothing less than superheroes to us. The uncertainties of our journey have at last become traditions, celebrations, sorry. Lastly, to the class of 2020 that will be leaving the comforts of Fundy Mullen High School in the most non-traditional way, let me just say this, we made it. It brings me great honor to be able to do a dismissal in front of this podium one last time. Class of 2020, you're dismissed. Congratulations, Fundy Midland High School, Class of 2020 graduate, Noah Brady Anthony. Congratulations, Fundy Midland High School, Class of 2020 graduate, Maria Elunel Manubeg Asucro. Congratulations, Fundy Midland High School, Class of 2020 graduate, Alana Mary Ellen Yvonne Berrio. Congratulations, Fundy Middle and High School Class of 2020 graduate, Brianna Don Barrio. Congratulations, Fundy Middle and High School Class of 2020 graduate, Tyrese William Barry. Congratulations, Fundy Middle and High School Class of 2020 graduate, Amber Elizabeth Boudreau. Congratulations, Fundy Middle and High School Class of 2020 graduate, Matthew Peter Buchanan. Congratulations, Fundy Midland High School Class of 2020 graduate, Adrian Jordan Domnell Burden. Congratulations, Fundy Midland High School Class of 2020 graduate, Andrew Mark Butler, who is the recipient of an Admiralty Award. Congratulations, Fundy Midland High School Class of 2020 graduate, Noah J. Carr. Congratulations, Fundy Midland High School Class of 2020 graduate, Tristan Delaney French Chambers. Tristan is the recipient of a bursary valued at $50 given by MAD Charlotte County, Fundy Midland High School Impact Award valued at $500, the St. George Alumni Scholarship valued at $500, a scholarship in memory of Jeffrey Whittier valued at $300 and given by his family, and a bursary valued at $150 given by Fundy Midland High School Home and School Association. Congratulations, Fundy Middle and High School, Class of 2020 graduate, Caitlin Ray Chase. Congratulations, Fundy Middle and High School, Class of 2020 graduate, Sydney Amelia Chase. Sydney is the recipient of a bursary valued at $150 given by Groom Insurance. Congratulations, Fundy Middle and High School, Class of 2020 graduate, Janessa Lynn Clark. Janessa has been awarded a bursary valued at $75 given by the Ladies Auxiliary Bonnie River Fire Department. Congratulations to Fundy Midland High School Class of 2020 graduate, Brittany Marie Clements. Congratulations Fundy Middle and High School Class of 2020 graduate, Rachel Grace Clinch. Rachel is awarded a scholarship valued at $1,000 given by Cook's Aquaculture and a scholarship valued at $1,000 given by Farmer Choice. Congratulations, Fundy Millen High School Class of 2020 graduate, Braden Anthony Cook. Congratulations, Fundy Middle and High School Class of 2020 graduate, Carly Pauline Cook. Carly has been awarded a bursary valued at $100 presented on behalf of the Fundy Middle and High School yearbook to a graduate who has demonstrated commitment to the development of our school yearbook. Congratulations, Fundy Midland High School Class of 2020 graduate, Dylan Maxwell Cook. Dylan is the recipient of a scholarship valued at $1,000 given by Cook's Aquaculture. Congratulations, Fundy Midland High School Class of 2020 graduate, Nadine Joyce Cook. Congratulations, Fundy Midland High School Class of 2020 graduate, Carter Dean Corning. Congratulations, Fundy Middle and High School Class of 2020 graduate, Sophie Anne Marie Craig. Sophie is the recipient of the Fundy Middle and High School Student Leader Award valued at $1,000, the recipient of a bursary valued at $100 given by Vance's Garage, the Ted Tedford Rotary Merit Bursary valued at $1,000, and an Admiralty Award. Congratulations, Fundy Middle and High School Class of 2020 graduate, Andrew Curran. 
Congratulations, Fundy Middle and High School Class of 2020 graduate, Jessica Marie Del Duca. Jessica is the recipient of the J.K.M. Shea Memorial Scholarship, donated by his father, Clifford Shea, valued at $500. The Philip and Anna Barteau Memorial Scholarship, valued at $250 and given by the St. George Funeral Home. She's also the recipient of the Natalie St. Ange Memorial Scholarship, valued at $250. A scholarship in memory of Chelsea Allaby, valued at $250. A bursary valued at $250, given by Fundy High School Home and School, and an Admiralty Award. Congratulations, Fundy Millen High School, Class of 2020 graduate, Jordan Ashley Del Duca. Jordan is the recipient of a bursary valued at $200, given by the Granite Town Seniors Club. A bursary valued at $250, given by Fundy High School Home and School Association. The Fundy Middle and High School Student Impact Award, valued at $500. A scholarship in memory of a wonderful teacher, Merle Sunny Frost, valued at $300, given to a former St. George Elementary School student. The Ashton Chase Memorial Scholarship, valued at $250, has also been given by the St. George Funeral Home in memory of Ashton Chase, and an Admiralty Award. Congratulations, Fundy Middle and High School Class of 2020 graduate, Hala Reese Devu. Hala has been awarded a bursary valued at $75, each given by the Ladies Auxiliary Bonnie River Fire Department. She's also the recipient of the Braden Anthony Cook Memorial and Suicide Prevention Bursary, valued at $500. Congratulations, Fundy Middle and High School Class of 2020 graduate, Emily Gale Doherty. Emily is the recipient of a bursary valued at $100, given by Lester's Trophies. Congratulations, Fundy Middle and High School Class of 2020 graduate, Carter William Dugan. Congratulations, Fundy Middle and High School Class of 2020 graduate, Ayasa Vidal Espinola. Congratulations, Fundy Middle and High School Class of 2020 graduate, Liam Joseph Robert Vance Frazier. Liam is the recipient of a bursary valued at $100 in memory of David Gass and given by his sister, Carolyn Blanchard. Congratulations, Fundy Middle and High School Class of 2020 graduate, Hannah Leanne French. Congratulations, Fundy Middle and High School Class of 2020 graduate, Tamarika Marie Frierson. Congratulations, Fundy Middle and High School Class of 2020 graduate, Prince Charles Radimar Garbin. Congratulations, Fundy Middle and High School Class of 2020 graduate, Kelsey Ruth Gowan. Congratulations, Fundy Middle and High School Class of 2020 graduate, Spencer Philip Graham. Congratulations, Fundy Middle and High School Class of 2020 graduate, Cameron William Baxter Gray. Congratulations, Fundy Middle and High School Class of 2020 graduate, Tu Ha. Tu is the recipient of a bursary valued at $100 presented on behalf of the Fundy Middle and High School Yearbook to a graduate who has demonstrated commitment to the development of our school yearbook. Congratulations, Fundy Middle and High School Class of 2020 graduate, Kelsey Brooke Hanlon. Kelsey is the recipient of the Allen M. A. McLean Scholarship valued at $500 to be given to a Fundy High School graduate who has attended Blacks Harbor School and is furthering his or her education at the university level. This scholarship will be renewed each year for the duration of the university course up to a maximum of five years. Congratulations, Fundy Middle and High School Class of 2020 graduate, Dawson Bailey Hatt. Congratulations, Fundy Middle and High School Class of 2020 graduate, Autumn J. Holland. Congratulations, Fundy Middle and High School Class of 2020 graduate, Nolan French Hutchinson. Congratulations, Fundy Middle and High School Class of 2020 graduate, Erin Elizabeth Ingalls. Erin is a recipient of the Florence S. Spinney Hegan Memorial Scholarship, valued at $2,000, and an Admiralty Award. Congratulations, Fundy Middle and High School Class of 2020 graduate, Jocelyn Zhao. Congratulations, Fundy Middle and High School Class of 2020 graduate, Owen John Tristan Jones. Owen is the recipient of the Mary and Kevin Beaudry Memorial Scholarship, valued at $500. Congratulations, Fundy Middle and High School Class of 2020 graduate, Trust Ken Noel. Congratulations, Fundy Middle and High School Class of 2020 graduate, Athena A. Leslie. Congratulations, Fundy Middle and High School Class of 2020 graduate, Trent Nicholas Leslie. Congratulations, Fundy Middle and High School Class of 2020 graduate, Ethan Christopher Douglas Lockhart. Ethan is also the recipient of the 2020 
Oroco Anniversary Scholarship in the amount of $2,000. Congratulations, Fundy Middle and High School Class of 2020 graduate, Colby Jeffrey Edward Lomax. Colby is the recipient of a scholarship in memory of Connor May, valued at $1,000, given by the May family. Congratulations to Fundy Middle and High School Class of 2020 graduate, Kendra Gabriela Mantua. Congratulations, Fundy Middle and High School Class of 2020 graduate, Spiro Francis Mawini. Congratulations, Fundy Middle and High School Class of 2020 graduate, Dylan Dilly Joseph Melanson. Congratulations, Fundy Middle and High School Class of 2020 graduate, Manika Angie Amy Merchant. Congratulations, Fundy Middle and High School Class of 2020 graduate, Cole Mark Mitchell. Congratulations, Fundy Middle and High School Class of 2020 graduate, Eliza Mokanu. Congratulations, Fundy Middle and High School Class of 2020 graduate, Dominica Matthews. Dominica is the recipient of a bursary valued at $75 given by the Ladies Auxiliary Bonnie River Fire Department. Congratulations, Fundy Middle and High School Class of 2020 graduate, Owen Robert Dow Mullen. Congratulations to Fundy Middle and High School Class of 2020 graduate, Chenny Nam. Chenny is the recipient of a bursary valued at $1,000 presented on behalf of Funday Middle and High School SRC. She is also the recipient of the Life Touch Student Leadership Award, also valued at $1,000. Congratulations, Funday Middle and High School Class of 2020 graduate, Brilliant Nan Don Nguyen. Congratulations, Funday Middle and High School Class of 2020 graduate, Ashton David Nickerson. Congratulations, Fundy Middle and High School Class of 2020 graduate, Michaela Marie Don Paul. Congratulations, Fundy Middle and High School Class of 2020 graduate, Tyler David Monroe Pitts. Tyler is a recipient of a scholarship in memory of the late Norman Vance, given by Vance's Auto Supply Limited, valued at $500. Congratulations, Fundy Middle and High School Class of 2020 graduate, Eric Peter Michael Pospolita. Congratulations, Fundy Millen High School Class of 2020 graduate, Aaron Joseph Rubin. Congratulations, Fundy Middle and High School Class of 2020 graduate, Aliana Sarceda. Congratulations, Fundy Middle and High School Class of 2020 graduate, Kyle Andrew Schwartz. Kyle is a recipient of the John E. Bernard Memorial Scholarship, valued at $1,000, the NB Proud Scholarship, valued at $1,000 and a bursary valued at $200 given by Fundy Contractors. He also received an Admiralty Award. Congratulations, Fundy Middle and High School Class of 2020 graduate, Philip Norman Scott. Congratulations, Fundy Middle and High School Class of 2020 graduate, Paisley Elizabeth Siemens. Congratulations, Fundy Middle and High School Class of 2020 graduate, Jenica Marie Gail Shaw. Congratulations, Fundy Middle and High School Class of 2020 graduate, Gabrielle Olivia Spencer. Gabby is awarded with a bursary valued at $250 given by the Town of St. George, a bursary valued at $250 given by Fundy High School Home and School, the Don Watkin Memorial Scholarship funded for a value of $290, as well as a scholarship valued at $250 in memory of Curtis LeBlanc given by his family, Congratulations, Fundy Millen High School Class of 2020 graduate, Spencer Wayne Stanley. Congratulations, Fundy Middle and High School Class of 2020 graduate, Bridget Hope Sullivan. Congratulations, Fundy Millen High School Class of 2020 graduate, Don Joaquin Vicente Limazinero Tenido. Don is the recipient of the Eastern Charlotte Scholarship Fund, consisting of the Harold and Amelia Marshall Memorial and the Jean Maxwell Memorial, valued at $250. Congratulations, Fundy Millen High School, Class of 2020 graduate, Chriselle May Paladin Tenario. Congratulations, Fundy Middle and High School, Class of 2020 graduate, Treasure Tugain. Congratulations, Fundy Millen High School, Class of 2020 graduate, Glendon Joseph Votour. Congratulations, Fundy Middle and High School, Class of 2020 graduate, Ashley Gale Vote. Congratulations, Fundy Middle and High School Class of 2020 graduate, Cameron Waycott. Congratulations, Fundy Middle and High School Class of 2020 graduate, Cassandra Ashley Wells. Cassandra is the recipient of a scholarship valued at $300 each given by the LeBlanc Independent Grocer 
granted to a Fundy High School graduate who is an employee or the son and daughter of an employee. Congratulations, Fundy Midland High School Class of 2020 graduate, Elliot James Wayne Whippy. Congratulations, Fundy Midland High School Class of 2020 graduate, Alexander Wilcox. Alexander is a recipient of the New Brunswick Public College's Entrance Scholarship valued at $1,000. Congratulations, Fundy Midland High School Class of 2020 graduate, Desiree Carolyn Wilkins. Congratulations, Fundy Middle and High School Class of 2020 graduate, Emma Grace Willard. Emma is the recipient of the Fundy Middle and High School Leader Award valued at $1,000. She's also the recipient of a bursary valued at $300 given by SD Driver Education, a scholarship valued at $300 each given by the LeBlanc Independent Grocer granted to a Fundy High School graduate who is an employee or the son and daughter of an employee, as well as an Admiralty Award. Congratulations, Fundy Millen High School, Class of 2020 graduate, Emma Jane Williams. Congratulations, Fundy Middle and High School, Class of 2020 graduate, Melissa Joan Wright. Melissa is the recipient of the H.W. Welch Scholarship, valued at $400 and an Admiralty Award. Congratulations, Fundy Middle and High School, Class of 2020 graduate, Taylor Marie Young. Congratulations to Aaron Ingalls, winner of the Governor General's Medal for Academic Excellence. Congratulations to this year's recipient of the Burks Medal for Leadership in Student Affairs, Chenny Nam. This year's recipient of the Jostens Gold Medal for Commitment to Student Affairs is Sophie Craig. Congratulations to all the major award winners.